We're ready to go, Ontario Pro Challenge Series Racing. And a GM Chevrolet Trait Pace Truck pulls that hard left hand turn into the pits. 54 of Tenley Putman will lead the field to green and we're on the way for the Ontario Pro Challenge Series presented by Weston Forest Products. 51 of Mike O'Connell gets a good jump on the outside and he's going to slingshot that 51 car out to the race lead. He's going to bring along the 18 of Ty Riopel. And the 42 of Ethan Fleet. Fifth-hand cars now a single file as Emma Norris slides into the fifth spot, rounding up that top five. Mike Norris in the 17 car now has worked his way up from the 10th starting spot up to six now here in one lap. So those drivers making quick work here as they continue on lap number two. Now three goes up on the board. So I'm one lap ahead of myself. Lap number two goes up on the board. Mike O'Connell out by about three car lengths over that 18 of Ty Riopel and then the 42 of Ethan Fleet. Single file nose to tail from second on back to sixth. Big battle on behind them, seven to 37 of Travis Majuri, 88 of Tim Norris and the 54 of Tenley Pepin. Those drivers going side by side. Majuri's gonna extend and take that seventh spot away. Tim Norris in eighth, ninth now, the 54 of Tenley Pepin. Field single file here, but they're nose to tail from second on back to sixth. Mike O'Connell still out front. He's going to have the lap traffic of the 14 of Tyler Reber in that T. Reber Co. Limited number 14 car. Reber's going to stay to the bottom of the speedway, give the leaders the outside lane as they flash under turn one and two here once again. Five laps into this 25 lap feature event. Mike O'Connell way out front by about a half track in front of that 42 now of Ethan Fleet. Fleet has moved his way up to that second spot. Trying to give you a full field rundown here. Mike O'Connell leads on lap number six. Second, the 42 of Ethan Fleet. Third will be the 34 of Brian Savannas. Fourth, the 18 of Ty Rhea Bell. Fifth will be the 28 of Emma Norris. Sixth, the 17 of Mike Norris. Seventh, the 88 of Tim Norris. Ninth, or excuse me. Eighth will be the 37 of Travis Majuri. Ninth, the 54 of Tenley Pepin. Tenth, the nine of Jay Lindy. Eleventh, the 24 of Jordan Ramsbottom. 12th, the 8 car of Sterling Hatton, and 13th, the 14 of Taylor Reber. Still out front, Michael Carl leads, Ethan Fleet in second, third, Brian Safanis. Those three cars have kind of broken away from the rest of the pack as Ty Riopel holds onto that fourth position, but Tim Norris is trying to hook his way in that 88 car up through the field. Now he's got the inside lane on the 28 of Emma Norris as Emma trying to slingshot that 28 car around the top side. It's a Norris and Norris sandwich. Tim Norris holds that fifth spot. Six, Emma Norris. Seven to the 17 of Mike Norris. They are trying to work their way through the field. Tim in the 88 car starting deep in the field, trying to work his way through the field, but only up to fourth position here now as they work lap number 10. Mike O'Connell still out front by about four car lengths. That gap is kind of closed. Ethan Fleet in the 42 car having a great run in the tie car RV. Toby Construction number 42 machine. Right behind him, the 33 of Brian Stevanis and that Articat number 33 car. Trying to see if they can close the gap on that 51 of O'Connell. O'Connell this year, sponsored by Patriot Forge and Kingsville Tire Discounter. O'Connell holding that race lead. Lap number 12 goes up on the board. Tim Norris holds in fourth now as he's closed that gap as well. He's within about a two car length gap between the 33 of Brian Stevanis as we work Lap number 13, so halfway home, halfway to go. Mike O'Connell still out front. Second, the 42 of Ethan Fleet. Third, the 33 of Brian Stefanis. Fourth, the 88 of Tim Norris. Fifth, the 18 of Ty Riopel. Sixth, the 28 of Emma Norris. Seventh, the 17 of Mike Norris. Eighth, the 37 of Travis Majuri. Ninth, the 54 of Tenley Pepin. Tenth, the nine of Jay Lindy. Eleventh, the eight of Sterling Hatton. Twelfth, the 24 of Jordan Ramsbottom. And 13th, the 14 of Taylor Reber. 14 laps up on the board. This time off of turn four, the 42 of Ethan Fleet with a big wiggle. He's going to go to the high side. Opens up the bottom for the 33 of Brian Stefanis. Oh, Fleet in the wall on the exit of turn number two. He makes contact with that right side wall off of the exit of turn number two. Now he's going to try to just see if he can hold on to that top five spot. 18 of Ty Riopel now challenging for fourth and fifth. Emma Norris lined up behind them. 
Fleet in the 42 trying to hang on to things. Still out front, Michael Connell now has a two car length lead over that 33 of Brian Stefanis. Lap number 17 goes up on the board. Tim Norris right behind that 33 car of Stefanis as he worked down the back straightaway. Around the 14 of Taylor Weaver. Lap number 17, now 18 goes up on the board of this 25 lap future event. O'Connell still out front, second the 33 of Stefanis, third the 88 of Tim Morris. Those three cars, nose to tail, down into turns three and four. O'Connell trying to hang on to this one. 19 goes up at the board of the 33 of Savannah, says a run to the bottom. O'Connell slipped up just a little bit on the middle exit of turns three and four, and that's going to give the race lead over to the 33 of Brian Stefanis. Stefanis now out front, second now the 88 of Tim Morris. This time off at turn four, five laps to go for the 33 of Brian Stefanis. Stefanis is going to have to make the 88 of Tim Morris work on the top side. Side by side down the back straightaway here as they head down into turns three and four. 88 of Tim Morris throws that car deep into the corner. Trying to see if he can make the top side work still side by side back into turns one and two. Stefanis on the bottom trying to hold off that 88 of Tim Norris. Norris extends the race lead now and he's clear into three and four. Tim Norris, you new race leader as they work lap number 22 this time around. Stefanis has only got a few more trips around to see if he can make anything happen to that 88 of Tim Morris. Problems on the front straightaway there, the 42 of Ethan Fleet. He's got a right rear locked up, it looks like, on that 42 car. Looks like we're going to stay under the green flag condition here for the time being. Two to go this time around. The popsicle sticks are up in the air. Tim Norris out front. Brian Stefanis in second. Third, the 51 of Mike O'Connor. White flag in the air. One more trip around for the 88 of Tim Norris. Stefanis has got two more turns to try and get the job done. Down the back straightaway. No dice so far. Tim Norris in the 88 car is going to lead the field off of turn number four. Check and flag is going to fly. Feature win to the 88 of Tim Norris. Coming home in second will be the 33 of Brian Savannah. Third, the 51 of Mike O'Connell. Fourth, the 18 of Tyree Appellant rounding out the top five. The 28 of Emma Norris. We'll slide in here and grab a word here with Tim. Tim, you had to start at the back. You worked your way around the whole field of race cars, made the high side work. How is this 88 car working in feature number one? You know what? It felt pretty good. A little loose on corner entry, so we'll fix that up maybe for later on. But, hey, hats off to Brian. I didn't think I was going to get him, and I didn't think he was going to get the 51. So if Magic Mike there didn't screw up there too bad, I don't think Brian or I had anything for him. I know uh, 13 cars here for the Ontario Pro Challenge. Great racing all throughout the field. What does that say about this series moving forward here with the first race in the books for 2024? Got a couple new drivers. We got the 24, Jordan Ramsbottom. He's running great. And the 14, this is pretty much her first time in the car anytime on a racetrack. So hats off to her for keeping out everybody's way and getting some laps in. I know you guys got a lot of stickers on this car. Who do you want to give a shout out to for getting this 88, to 88 machine to victory lane? Uh, Levitt Machinery, uh, Lift Depot, or sorry, Lift Depot's gone. Hyundai Forklift and Material Handling, Weston Forest. Um, uh, yeah, Hyundai Material Handling. Flamborough Machine Shop, come on to help us this year. Pedal Power 51 for all the awesome videos they do. And there's a few others that help me out that don't want me to mention them. There you go, fans. I'm going to round of applause. Your future one winner, the 88 of Tim Morris. We'll slide in here and grab a word with our second place finisher, the 33 of Brian Savannah. Brian, you were this close. You had a great run there in the 33 car. How was it working here in feature number one for you guys? Uh, it was working pretty good. Uh, obviously not quite good enough. The 88 got us there the last couple laps. But, uh, yeah, just really happy. It's our first time out this year, first time on the track for me. So car's working great. Thanks to the crew. And thanks for Flamborough for having us for the season opener. There you go, fans. Your second place finisher, the 33 of Brian Stefanis. We'll slide in here and grab one over there. Third place finisher, the 51 of Mike O'Connell. Mike, you were out front for almost that whole time. Couldn't quite close the deal. Still feels probably pretty good to finish third here tonight. Yeah, it feels great. I mean, to, uh, to see how far we've come, it's been uh, quite the quite the trek. But again, obviously, got to thank uh, Patriot Forge. They came on this year to help us out. Uh, I got to thank all the friends and family. My uncle Wayne, he was uh, pretty instrumental with uh, getting the car to where it is for this year. 
then obviously uh, the boys and stuff. So, yeah, hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to close it out one day. There you go, fans. Have a round of applause. Your third place finisher, the 51 of Mike O'Connell.